right, Dalen. Well, last year you probably remember talking about magnets in science class, right? Mm -hmm. And we looked at some different properties of magnets, and one of those properties was that all magnets create a magnetic field. That's those invisible lines of force around the magnet. We can't see it, but that's what lets it attract things or repel other magnets and things like that. It's because of that magnetic energy surrounding it. Now, I've got a magnet on the other side of the paper here. And you can see our magnet has a north pole and a south pole. This is just a regular bar magnet. And the magnetic field around that magnet allows it, you can see a little bit of iron powder that's actually stuck on there from earlier. But that magnetic field we don't really see yet, right? Mm -hmm. And we talked about energy being something that we can't see, but we can see its effect on other objects and other materials. So what we're going to do, we're going to use some iron filings here to see if we can observe the magnetic field. And I'm just going to let you just get you a little scoop there. And I just want you to just very, very lightly sprinkle it over our paper here. And let's see if we can see a magnetic field from that magnet. Just sprinkle a little bit of just a fine coating on there. There you go, a little bit finer than that. Okay. All right, so you can kind of see that iron powder, it's starting to do something, right? Starting to kind of line up along those lines of force. And we're just going to, I'll let you just put that back in the, in the container there. Let's shake it out a little bit. Let's just see if we can line that up a little bit more. But you can actually see those lines of force there between the magnet's two poles. And you can see a lot of it's kind of attracted onto the magnet there sticking to it. So what I want to look at next, we talked about magnets when we put them together. If you take the north and north pole of two magnets and put them together, what do those two magnets want to do to each other? They repel. They repel. They want to push away, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just look at how that affects magnetic fields. I'm going to set that back to the side. And right here, I have two magnets that are north to north, repelling each other. So let's turn this over. I'm going to borrow this for a minute, and we're just going to sprinkle a little bit on And as we sprinkle it, you'll see starting to line up to the magnetic field. And you can see right here are the poles of the magnets. Okay? But we've got that gap, that empty space in here, because what's happening to those north and north poles? They're repelling. They're repelling. It's wanting to push away there. So that force, that magnetic field is wanting to push away rather than pull these together. You can see around here it's kind of pulling around towards the opposite poles at the back. All right. And the next one I want to look at, we're going to take two magnets with opposite poles. And we said like poles repel, what do opposite poles do? Attract. They attract, and that means they want to, to pull together. It's like when you take two magnets and stick them to each other, right? They're attracted to each other, and that's that connecting, pulling force. So right here, we have a south pole and a north pole lined up, and that's going to give that attracting, pulling force between the two magnets. So when we sprinkle our iron filings on here, lightly so we can see it good and you can see it looks quite a bit different we'll put them side by side and compare them here at the end tap it a little bit it'll make us see them better but see right here remember before it was pushing everything away out of the middle kind of see our first one there everything's being pushed away but here it's being pulled together as the two magnets attract each other so that's a good representation. Using iron filings, we can actually see the shape, we can see the direction, and we can see the interaction between the two magnets with their magnetic fields. 